are in the truck. It is my favorite time of year, and probably my favorite trip of the year. We've been doing this for a long time. My good buddy Craig right here, he finally gets to go with us, considering it's his farm. <laughs> but uh, he has been working for a farmer in town a bunch, and last uh, year, actually last couple years, he's been kind of doing harvest and haven't been able to go. But they got done this year early, and we are heading out. Nebraska rifle season opens tomorrow. We have got an arsenal of guns we're bringing out here. Got some close range rifles, some long range rifles. We're gonna uh, get in tight and do some thick stuff, maybe hit some antlers together, try to rattle some bucks in, might sit out on the river. We're just gonna do all kinds of fun stuff. But uh, fun place out here. We've had a lot of success over the years and uh, I'm gonna film Craig for a while and we're gonna try to get him a big one this year. He's got a couple we have on trail camera that he likes. We'll see what happens. See you when we get there. All right guys, we just got here getting some things unloaded at the cabin and uh, now we're gonna do some shooting here. I guess I'll put it back here. I'm gonna shoot a few rounds out of the guns here, make sure everything's still on after travel. Always a good thing to do. We got Craig over here with his X model 3030. That's the stuff right there. Had really good success with this. Here you go, comrade. Ready? Yep. Got her. She's good. Bingo. I think you're good to go, buddy. Feel good? You like it? You bet. I All love right. this. Nice, nice shooting gun. And smooth. Very smooth. Doesn't kick bad. I like the fiber optics on it, too. For me, I got bad eyes. So. Sweet, sweet. Let's try the 44. All right, guys. The 30 is ready to go. I have got the all-weather 44 mag here. I uh, got a two to seven loop hold on this one. Works really, really well. Let's see uh, if she's still good to go. Two dead deer. All right, guys, back here at 100 yards now. Got the 350 Legend. Last time I used this, I was actually out here in Western Nebraska, mule deer hunting. Shot it right before I left, but like I said, it's always good to check zero, make sure everything's good once you get to the place. So we're here about 100 yards, not quite 100 yards here because there's enough undulation. I can't get back any further. I can't see the plate, but should be good to go. Ready? Ready. Head center. All right, guys. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's go kill a big buck tomorrow. You ready? You bet. All right, I'm gonna give this to you. All right, Henry family. We're finally hunting. Well, I'm finally hunting. Craig's been hunting for a couple days out here. I actually had to go home and uh, help with the whole family stuff going on. Little, little baby Wyatt wasn't feeling too good. And, just didn't feel right being clear out here four hours away from home with Whitney, being at home with him alone and Reese as well. So went home for a couple days, got that taken care of, family first always. Yeah. But uh, we're back out here. We've got uh, tonight, all day tomorrow, all day Tuesday, and then uh, probably head back either Tuesday night or Wednesday morning. <laughs> This is a place right here, it's pretty near and dear to me. Last time I sat in this tree stand, I killed a big 163 inch 10 pointer right over there with the 3030. Tonight, Craig is up to bat with the 350 Legend single shot. <laughs> but if uh, a big old mature management eight pointer, there's a six pointer, um, something like that comes out, we might switch and I might 
popping because we got a lot of old, just deer that need to get shot out here. We don't hunt out here a ton. It's a lot of, a lot of area. And just these deer get so old out here and some of them just honestly need to be taken out. So we'll see what happens. We can see a long ways here. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. There's a ton of tracks on the sandbar coming through right here. So hopefully it'll be a good night. We actually saw some elk come through this general area. Uh, first night we we sat in the truck for a little while, just kind of glassed and watched. So should be a fun night. We'll see what happens. I know Craig's ready to bust something. Mm -hmm.
Good morning, Henry family. It's morning number one for me out here. And we're diving in. We elected not to get too aggressive right off the bat. Craig's kind of just been hunting on the river and things like that. And he's seen some really good deer, probably passed a couple deer he shouldn't have passed, but you know, he's Craig. But uh, anyway, we are heading over across the river today into some really thick stuff that has been really good in the past. Uh, should be good. We're going to spend most of the day over there bringing the antlers with us. This place just isn't hunted. This whole area isn't hunted out here very much, so rattling just seems to work really well. Buck to doe ratio is really, really good out here. So it's just a lot of fun to get in there and uh, bang the old antlers together. It seems like we've killed a lot of good bucks out here that way. So. We got a perfect day for it, good wind. It's uh, 20 degrees right now, plenty cold. So uh, let's see if we can dive in here and put a big old buck on the ground. I think we're gonna take the old 44 Magnum over here this morning. Everything's pretty close range hunting, so it should be fun. You ready? You bet. You bet, he says, you bet. We're packing stuff up here. We sat here for a while and 
haven't seen anything mature, so we're gonna we got the wind. The winds are picked up pretty good. So we're gonna use that to our advantage and try to sneak through here and get to where we wanted to get. The wind isn't absolutely perfect for where we want to get. We're gonna try to set up with a crosswind in there. Just hope for the best. It's a rut, it's a rut, you know, you just gotta get in here and try to get it done. So we'll see what happens. This was the first opening that we wanted to get to. As you can see out here, we got a nice big grassy opening. Got another one right here back there behind us. Another one right here. We're kind of on this little point up back here on our cedar. We're gonna sit here for, I don't know, maybe a good hour or so. Hit the horns together a couple different times. See if we can't pull one in here. This fence right here is not a property line. They used to be able to run cattle in here and it was just a separation fence. So we can shoot on that side. There was a really pretty young eight pointer standing back over here. I think I got one second of footage of him, but uh, we just gotta run into something mature pretty soon I would think. We'll see. Cool little spot right here. Be awesome to have Craig and I were just talking. It'd take a lot of work. But it would be awesome to have a blind right here up on a tower, man. You could see so good. It'd be awesome. Might be a project for the future. Get him out of here. <laughs> I just rattled. I pulled my phone out for a second because I got a text from Jeremy that said, Dead deer yet? I literally texted him back and said, We haven't seen anything but young bucks. And Craig looks up and says, Buck. And I look and it, I mean, no doubt, no question, big jumbo, five plus year old stud and you just smoked him to 44 at 15 yards <laughs> that footage is unbelievable all right guys it has been about 20 minutes since the shot we heard him crash we watched the footage back you can hear him crash on camera it's quick and it's fast but that is real life i wish i could have got him he was coming through this brush when we first seen him and I couldn't get the camera turned on quick enough. And I finally got recording when he was about right here. I 
mean, Craig, we gotta step this off. He couldn't have been 15 yards. Let's step it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen steps. He was standing right behind this little. Oh my god. He went right up in here. you've ever been on in your life? That was so fast, like you said. That deer. Let's pull a game, buddy. Congratulations, man. I'll poke him, make sure he's dead. That, that might be that. You hammer it. Craig, it's a crab claw nine. Yep. It's a crab claw nine. You got him. <laughs> and you smoked him, dude. That's 100% who he is. Yep. What a stud. You heart shot him, dude. I didn't recognize him running in, but that's who it is. What a beast. Crab claw nine. Look at the neck on that deer. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have a lot of fun getting him out of here. <laughs> the work begins. Look at that. I didn't realize it was him. I didn't either. Look at the mass on that deer for out here. I love the crab claw. Dude, that deer weighs 300 pounds. Congratulations, buddy. You'll never, I don't know if you'll ever top that. I mean, just the excitement of that hunt. You're right. I mean, that was insanity. Wow. Look at that, that's a good mass deer. Dude, he's a stud. He, Is he five? Do you think he's five? Oh, at least five. Look at his neck. My gosh. He's at least five, if not six plus. All right, guys, we took a couple cell phone pictures here and took a look at him. This deer is such a stud, man. Look at the neck. Look at the neck on this deer. Heavy mass. We called this deer the Crab Claw Nine. He's got a Got a big crab claw right here. That's I mean, just an absolute here. stud. Wonderful mass for out here. Look, Look, at Look how big this just 44 Magnum. I think this is the first deer, first animal with this 44 Magnum is killed with the side gate. Really? Yep. And it, uh, it pin him. Shooting the uh, 270 grain federal hammer downs. And he went, what, a whole 30 yards? Maybe. Maybe 30 yards. Congratulations, dude. Left handed shake. But I tell you what, it's been a few years since Craig and I could come out here. And I knew if we could get over here in the thick stuff and just get after it, I knew we could find one. And this was actually 
basically one of the top bucks on our list as far as what we have pictures of. There's a lot of deer we don't get pictures of on this place because it's such just a big area. But uh, this was one of the top deer as far as maturity goes that we wanted and we put him down. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate awesome. it. So awesome. Look at the neck on that thing. Oh my gosh. What a stud. Well, if this is the end of this episode, hope you guys enjoyed it. God bless, and remember, if it's not made in America, it's not made at all. But this might not be the end of this episode, I don't know, because I still have a tag, and we still have to dress it today and tomorrow. So we'll see. So if we see you again, we see you again. If not, God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode. What do you think? That's awesome deer, man. I the hunt, the whole the hunt <laughs> is all I care about. I know. I, that was so awesome. Like the cool. That's I, the, I the mean, footage. I'll that. I will never that that envision will be burned into my memory forever, of him just mouth wide open, <laughs> flying through there, trying to find where we were at. Total insanity. <laughs> <laughs>